Hello guys and welcome back to the second episode of the Battlegrounds series. So today we will be doing data saving. So as you can see in the original game, everything here is saves. I got my total field set up and everything is fine. And yeah, that's basically what we are going to do today. So as always, the link to the script that you're going to need will be in the description. So make sure you get this and let's just jump right in. So when you're in studio, you want to get the thing again in the description and we'll link it and you want to drag it inside the server script service. But we are going to create a folder and name this to modules. If you watched my um, tutorial series on the anime tower defense game, which is also just ongoing and has like two episodes right now, then this should be quite familiar and you should be able to copy most of it. So let's just get right into it. So you want to make a folder named modules and drag, uh, like, drag this inside. Then you want to create another module script and rename this to data manager. Then you want to duplicate this, drag it inside the data manager, rename it and name it template. Duplicate this and rename it to leader stats. Just like this. So you should have a folder named modules, then two scripts, one data manager and profile service and inside the data manager, template and leader sets. That should be everything that you are going to need. So then to continue, we need to first of all, make a like require a few things here. So we actually want to name this data manager. So I'm gonna name this data manager real quick and we'll make a uncapitalized D here let me zoom in a bit so yeah let's just define some values so we need local players so players is equal to game colon get service players yeah it it that's it like twice for me because i have like a script for this like not a script but like a a plugin so if you want i can link it to you also in the description just let me know because when I write a service, it's automatically, it's like automatically filling it up here. So it's easy. So yeah, let us get the modules and then we need the profile server. So local profile, make this capitalized profile server is equal to require and then modules call wait for child profile service. And then the templates, so local template. This is all these scripts we just created. So require scripts call wait for child templates then we can copy this paste it down here write leader sets here copy this paste it here and change this to a lowercase l like this then we need two value variables so the actually we can do this later so first of all we want to make a new table in text so data manager dot profiles is equal to a table Make sure this is set to a table and then data manager dot p is equal and now we have to create the variable so local data key is equal to and then you can put anything here i'm gonna just put underscore data store but just remember and keep in mind when you change this key like you change it from data store to data store one or to two or three or four or anything this will overwrite the data so if you have a game like and you play it and you have like 100 kills or something and you change this they are gone but you can revert them back if you just go back to the original story game just like this so if you want to reset your data for like testing just change the data key and it should work so this is equal to the data key so then we need also the profile source so local profile store is equal to profile server dot get profile store data key data key and template so then we need to add two functions so local function player added which is going to get the player which is of course a player object and then the function local 
function player removing which also needs the player so then we have those two so then we can make two list nodes here so players dot player edits on connect player edits and players dot player removing on connect player removing just like this so when the player like when a player joins the game it's going to connect this function when a player leaves the game it's going to connect this function so let's continue with the player edit function so we first of all need the profile because of course it's named profile service so it has to do something with profiles so the way this works is basically you have everything inside like your player and it's very easily organized and you basically do everything with the profile you may be fami familiar with like changing like data into the player but you actually have to do this twice here but i'm gonna just show it to you in a second to make it easier also we are going to do this in like all the later episodes so you will get familiar with this because I think profile service is like the best way to handle data or like data saving. But yeah, so so reconcile and then profile call listen to release. Don't worry, these things are not like popping up in your autocomplete. It's just because they get created when you join the game. So just don't worry. But it, it will still work. You just have to type them out. So then we click the player. And we want to go down. And then if player colon is the sending off players. And then. The data manager. Dot profiles. Player. Like index it. If you don't know what these like. Brackets like these brackets. I don't know what they are called mean they basically index something so if you give it something like a folder or a table and you do these and put something inside it's going to index this so this here means the profiles which is this it's going to look for the player so it's going to like set the profile of the player inside this table that's basically what it does then leader stats and then we actually have to write something for the leader sets first. So let's quickly do this. So we want to go and set the leader sets. And we actually have a player data script from the previous episode. So we can go in there and cut everything out and just delete the rest. Then we want to go and pay into the leader sets. And then we can just do function module column create make sure you get the column and this will get the player which is of course a player and the profile and then we can just paste this inside and this should totally be fine the only thing we need to change here is the values but we are going to get to this now so we want to go into the template and basically we want to set the value of something to profile dot data dot. So profile dot data is pretty much everything in the template, like everything in here. So what you want to do is you want to copy the name of this, paste it here and set this to what you want it to be. Just like this. And then you can just put dots and then do the same thing here. Same for total codes. Just copy this. Paste it here. Set it to what you want. And paste it. In profile. The data. And paste it here. Same with this. Copy it. Paste it. Set it equal to the value. Add a comma, 
set this to profile.data also like a character easy that's everything that's everything so then we can go back to the data manager let me just check if i know i did miss something okay that's good so go back here and the leader stats on create layer from a profile then we want to go down and say else profile called release and then else here layer on after this one we want to warn the profile dot data so this basically just warns the data so if we join the game we will be able to see what data we have and this just makes it easier the local profile is again we can just copy this from here from now we can't actually so we just do data manager dot profiles layer like this oh i missed the equal then we want to warn profile dot data again this is when we leave if profile isn't equal to nil then profile release like this then we can pop in game and as you can see there's nothing happening right now let us check the output there's nothing in here so ignore these warnings they're just like from just from roblox i don't know but actually the error is that we don't require the data manager so we want to go into player data and do require drip dot parents hallway for child modules hallway for child data manager and now when we play the game as you can see the kills and the total kills loaded in perfectly and this is data saving so yeah that's basically what it does but now we have to change one other thing because as you can see we have different like characters right so we have two characters right now if we change it to dualist so we click on it it's not going to give us an error and in our player we are going to see that the selected character is dualist but now when we leave we will see that the selected character is still street fighter and when we join the game again and see that in our player the selected character is street fighter again so because we actually need to set the profile so in the server script which we have in subscript service of course this changes the value so player call away for child select character dot value is equal to character but we need to change this for the profile too so let's get the store so local profile is equal to data manager dot profiles capital p profiles index this with the player now we need to define data manager so local local data manager is equal to require another script service only for child modules only wait for child data manager like this then we want to go back here and we have the profile then we want to do profile dot data dot selected just check how we wrote it just copy it and paste it dot selected character is equal to character and then we set it equal to character and then we can just set this equal to this like this let me zoom out for you so you can see a bit better just make sure you have a right like this then we can go back into the game and try it out so as you can see we currently are a street fighter now when we switch to dualist we are a dualist when we leave 
we are also in Duelist. When we join back, we are still a Duelist. So this works completely fine. And just like this, we have data saving. This was pretty much it. So I know we did not add something new this episode, but all the cool stuff is going to come in the next few episodes. So make sure you watch those too. If you don't want to miss out on anything, you can also join my Discord server. It's also linked below in my bio. And yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.